All right, everyone. I am here with Joe Caramonte. Hey, Joe. Hi, how you doing? Good. And he's with Kai's Realty out of Miami, Fort Lauderdale area. And Joe, the reason I wanted to bring you on is um, you're not only a real estate agent, but you also are an insurance. Is it a broker? Is that how you say no, it? No, no, I'm a, I'm a life insurance agent. You're a life insurance agent. Um, and then, but you have a lot of experience um, in uh, economics and stuff too, right? Correct. I, I taught economics and AP economics and financial literacy for over 20 years. That's a long time. So I thought with the way the market is changing now, it would be really cool to talk about as agents, how can we identify like changes in the market so that we're prepared for it's because it's not a matter of if the market is going to change, right? It's just a matter of when. Correct. Yeah. Um, what I have found and through my years of teaching, mm -hmm. um, what's most important is what you spend your time on. Okay. You, you need to be online. You need to be researching. You need to be studying to see what's going on. Um, do you spend your time looking at a Kardashian Instagram page or do you spend your time looking at, you know, economic publications that have credibility and you know that have throughout history you know proven to be accurate right. so spending your time in a productive way mm -hmm. uh, to me is the first thing that you need to do you know find what? your facts yeah no that's that's good because there is a lot of information so the credibility piece is huge and there's a lot of stuff that like seems credible but isn't what are some of the top ones that that you recommend um, I recommend, I always read The Economist. Okay. I, I read The Wall Street Journal. Okay. Uh, I read Forbes. Those are my top three. The um, Economist is a little thick to get through. It, it requires it, it, a it, lot of context. Yeah, it, 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 it is. But I think the, the more time you spend reading it, mm -hmm. the, more, the more you'll understand the topics. And okay. you can, you know, and one thing I always told my students you should never read anything without a dictionary in your hand. <laughs> That's good. Because you're going to, I'm 54 years old, went through law school, did all that stuff. Yeah. I still come across words I've never seen in my life. So okay. you, you always have to be prepared. And the more you do that, uh, the more you're going to learn. And reading The Economist will be a piece of cake one day. Right. That's awesome. Um, 20 years down the line, it will be a piece of cake. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so what are, you know, there's so much information out there. Can you, like, if we're, if we're new to kind of, if we're new to this and we want to, you know, make sure that we stay ahead of the market, what, what are some key indicators that we could be looking for or how do we disseminate the data, all the data? You know, um, what I've always looked at is I look at consumer market trends, okay. um, how, how consumers react uh, okay. in the marketplace. Uh, they're a great indicator of where things are going to go. Um, they're, they're very, um, they're savvy uh, about their money. You, mm -hmm. I mean, most of the time. Right. So if you, if you see people rushing to do a certain thing, there's a reason. If you right. see people backing off of a certain thing, there's a reason. So I, the, the number one thing I would do is watch consumer behavior. Yeah, there was, I'm thinking back, oh, I'm probably going to butcher this, but they say like your economics 101 is like supply and demand, right? But then there's a whole nother school of thought that instead of just like supply and demand like this, that it's actually like a pie. Have you seen this? Um, I have, I have seen something like that. Uh -huh. um, I, I, you know, I, I do believe in supply and demand. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm a strong believer in supply and demand <laughs> okay. and that's, you know, that's what drives the market. Sure. Um, and there are externalities, things that happen out there um, that affect supply and demand. Sure, right. Of course, that makes sense. So what do you think, though? I mean, it seems that everybody agrees that interest rates have been like too low for too long. Do you agree um, with that? I, I, I actually, um, I don't agree with that. Oh, good. Tell us. 
Um, I, I, I'm okay with the interest rates being low okay. in a time where consumers um, are still on edge mm -hmm. about what the future holds. Okay. Um, you, you were starting to see a rebuild in consumer confidence and spending of money mm -hmm. uh, towards the end of 2020. And now it's started to slip a little bit because you had a charge, a change in presidential administrations. Right. And that always makes people, you know, step back a little bit right. to see what's going to happen mm -hmm. and to see which way the economy is going to go. What's the government going to do? Right. And, and um, I just believe that the interest rates being low mm -hmm. uh, is necessary to keep the economy going. Right now, there's there's the highest that there's ever been in disposable income put in savings by people. Over the last year, the amount of money that people have in savings that's ready to be spent mm -hmm. doubled. That's awesome. So, yeah, Great. So the question, Good job to yeah. everyone. You know, the question, <laughs> well, that's because they were afraid to spend it. Well, okay. <laughs> you, you know, and plus they were, they, most of them were home. Their expenses There's were down. To do. Right. Right. So, you know, there was no vacations. There's no so driving. COVID was like a savings plan for Americans. Uh, it, yeah. It, <laughs> yeah. It, it, in, it, in a way, it, it was, an, uh, you know, unforced, unforced savings. Yeah. But, you know, now all this money's out there and what are people going to do with it? Are they going right. to go spend it on durable goods? Are they going to buy a new car? Are they going to buy a new home? Right. Are they going to invest it? Yeah. For the future? Right. So, you know, th that's a question that's out there that, you know, nobody really knows what people are going to do with it. We just know that they are going to spend it. Yeah, that makes sense. So why, I mean, why should real estate agents care about this? Well, because the economy drives the real estate market. I agree with you, <laughs> but a lot of people don't like, no, you know what I mean? Like they just are I mean, more reactive, I guess. I mean, as, as a real estate agent, um, it behooves you to know um, what economic trends are because economic trends are going to dictate consumer behavior. Consumer behavior is what drives your business. Right. You, know, right, you know, right now, are you going after buyers or are you going after sellers? Mm -hmm. Like down here in Florida, South Florida, our inventory is tremendously low. And right. the competition to get listings is incredible right so are, are you going to spend your time and your marketing dollars you know trying to get that listing when you're competing against 20 30 50 agents mm -hmm. or are you going to advertise you know up north for people who want to relocate are you going to advertise for buyers mm -hmm. uh, there, there's a lot more buyers than there are sellers right now right so, you know, knowing that will make you a more efficient real estate agent mm -hmm. and a, just better for your business overall too you know right that's awesome. Well, I really appreciate you being on. If somebody has a referral for you, um, it, you cover like Miami, Fort Lauderdale. Oh, yeah, Palm Beach. And it, it actually, you know, and anybody's looking anything in Florida, uh -huh. uh, please get in touch with me because Kai's is throughout Florida and I can refer them to the best agents in the state wherever they might want to relocate to. Perfect. What's the best way to get a hold of you? Um, you can email me mm -hmm. at Joseph Caramonte at kais.com. Or you can, you know, shoot me a text. Uh, my number is 954-801-1402. Perfect. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put um, that information in the notes too. So you have it. Well, Joe, I really appreciate you being on. Thank you so much. Um, I want to remind people too that every Thursday at noon, we will be inside of Clubhouse and Real Estate Fight Club to talk about some of these these uh, topics. So thanks, Joe. It was my pleasure.